Hi, my name is Pro Tips Dad, and here's my tips for the weekend. Now, this weekend is Cup weekend in England and in France, and so as I always look for value, I'm looking for cup upsets this weekend to try and bring you tips that can boost your betting profits. My tip for Saturday comes from the FA Cup in England, the game between Exeter City and West Bromwich Albion. Exeter City are seventh in League Two, and while the form's a little bit patchy, uh, they've won two, lost two in the last five games. One game was uh, postponed due to adverse weather conditions. Um, their their form at home's not bad. In all competitions, they've won three in a row at St James Park. In the last four league games, they've won them all at St James Park. So they're pretty good at home. And they face West Bromwich Albion side, who, let's be honest, are on the slide. They've not won in 22 games in all competitions. In fact, West Bromwich Albion's last away win was against a team at this level, Accrington Stanley in the League Cup. They've beaten 3-1 back in August. But it's all about priorities, and West Bromwich Albion's priority at the moment cannot be the FA Cup. They're 19th in the Premier League. They need points to survive. Premier League survival is everything for West Bromwich Albion. And whilst I'm sure they don't want the embarrassment of going out to a League 2 side, I'm also sure that they're going to have to rotate uh, their squad uh, to bring in players so that they can rest and bring in their, their first-choice players to the Premier League games. Exeter City, on the other hand, know they've got nothing to lose. This is the game they want. It's a game against a team who are struggling, who have got to travel a long way down to a small stadium filled with partisan fans and who know that they're onto a loser no matter what. So, you look at the odds in this one, and Exeter City are above evens for plus 0.5, which is to win or draw. So, for me, the value tip for Saturday is Exeter plus a half to beat West Bromwich Albion at 2.04. That's Exeter to either win or draw. Hi, my name is Bruce Tomartin. My tips for the weekend are Saturday and Sunday I've, I've, I've gone for the FA Cup games because there's great value to be added in the FA Cup, especially in the early rounds. So on Saturday, it's Villa Park for me. It's the game between Aston Villa and P3 United. So it's Championship versus League One. Um, both are going well in their respective leagues. But Steve Bruce, for the Villa manager, has already come out and said that he's going to give a load of youngsters a go, um, which could play into Peter's hands. Um, sort of like the Calum O'Hare... Andre Green, um, Jake Doyle, Hayes, those kind of players might be given a chance uh, for Aston Villa. Um, you know, they're, they're decent youngsters, don't get me wrong, but the fact I think Peterborough will probably field a stronger team as they can, I think they'll have a great chance. Because, they, you know, they're a League One side, yes, but they love to play attacking football, um, play good football as well on the ground, and they score a bag load of goals as well. Um, Jack Marriott, he scored 17 goals already this season. And, you know, you've got the likes behind, of, of Danny Lloyd behind him and uh, Marcus Madison. He's got 13 assists already this season. So, you know, they're absolutely flying when they're going forward. And, you know, don't forget they've got uh, Premier League experience at the back, Stephen Taylor as well. Um, so Villa aren't going to find this easy and rotating as much as they probably will. Um, I personally think there's value um, on Peterborough in the handicap here. So my tip for this one is going to be Peterborough on the Asian handicap, plus 0.5 at 2.32, which I think is cracking value. Um, so that's Peterborough to win or draw. Um, I think Peterborough could, they might not win the game, but I think they could definitely get the draw um, and take take it back to London Road for the replay. Yeah, the fact that, that Grant McCann as well has said, uh, the East Posh side will, will will not sit back. They will come and attack. And the Villa Park pitch as well. I think that will play into Peterborough's hands. As I say, they love to play football. Um, so, you know, trying to play football on that Villa Park pitch might might help Peterborough. And Villa won't have it all their own way. Uh, so I think, yeah, Peterborough are cracking value at that price. How are you, lads? Pro tips to Paddy here with my weekend tips. So, uh, this is my tip for Saturday. Serie A's back. Woo! Italian football. Everyone loves it, don't they? Well, I know I do. Anyway, I know some people aren't big fans of it. But, uh, yeah, it's been averaging, like, the most goals um, uh, per game uh, for the last couple of seasons in, in the European top leagues. So, you know, that whole myth about Italian defending is, you know, firmly under the bus at this stage. So, uh yeah, and um, I'm hoping for plenty of goal action in this match. I'm looking at the Roma Atalanta match. It's happening on Saturday evening, so I know. Look, Roma are in fourth place. They had a bit of a, they've had a bit of a wobble 
there before the Christmas uh, winter break and uh, it's the wobble though it came in matches away from home they were drawn matches they should have won they lost a couple as well they have lost a couple of home games as well but they have generally been to uh, better teams so Inter and uh, Napoli and as well they lost the Rome derby to Lazio but it's a derby you know yourself that can happen in those matches so look their overall record in for the last 10 games they've won six drawn three and lost one their home record's a bit better they've uh, won seven drawn one lost two Atlanta's overall form though isn't isn't the best they have uh, four wins three draws three losses and their away form is even worse it's three wins three draws and four losses there's no particular injury news here Roma have a couple of long-term absentees but other than that everyone's fighting fit and you know the, the break came at, came at the right time for uh, Roma because uh, you know that wobble that they were starting to have it away from uh, away from home. Uh, hopefully they'll have put that to bed now, and they'll they'll get their season back on track. They're in fourth place, they want to keep the pressure on Inter, um, who are just above them. Uh, Juventus and Napoli. All of them looks like I can't see Roma winning the league, and I think it's too late for that. But they'll certainly want to keep the pressure um, on Inter at the very least. Um, what else is there to say? Yeah. Um, if you have a look at the stats, Atlanta's away record does look quite good. Um, but the thing is, uh, they've had a couple of wins. Uh, yeah, they beat Napoli in in the cup, um, but it was kind of it was a it was a mix. It wasn't a full strength Napoli by any, any stretch of the imagination. There was a couple of first teamers there, but uh, it certainly wasn't the usual starting eleven. Uh, they beat Genoa as well. But Genoa are slipping and sliding their way into a relegation battle. They also beat AC Milan, but you know. At the minute, everyone's beating AC Milan, so can you really count those? Like, well, okay, of course you can count them. That's that's six points out of those two games, and they advance uh, to the next round in the cup. But um, yeah, look, coming up against Lazio or coming up against Lazio, what am I saying? Coming up against Roma in the Stadio Olimpico, it's a different kettle of fish altogether. So, and I think I think Roma, after a little break, they'll have uh, regrouped and their heads together, and yeah, they'll be raring for this match. Um, the bookies have Roma to win at one point seven two. Uh, you can book, of course, you can you can go with that if you want. Uh, I prefer to go with uh, odds that are a bit higher, so evens or over evens. And, and I'm actually going to take Roma on the minus one Asian handicap at two point two two. Um, look, Roma are just too good at home, and they've, they've, they they should have plenty of firepower to beat uh, this Atlanta Atlanta team at the Olympic Stadium in Rome. My tip for Sunday comes from France, from the game between Dunkirk and Metz. Now, this is a similar sort of thing. Dunkirk are seventh in the Championnat National, which is the third tier of football in France. Dunkirk have won three of the last four games, but their home form is a little bit patchy at this moment in time. However, normally their home form is excellent. And again, this is, a, uh, this is like the FA Cup. It's a game where they're playing a team in Metz, who are rock bottom of League One, whose priorities have to be the league. You know, the, the, the Cup's nice, but it's all about staying in the top flight, and Mets really know this. Mets is form. Um, they've actually picked up a couple of wins of late, but they're still eight points off safety, and Mets know that if they lose players in this game, in what is a nothing game against Dunkirk, it's going to mess up their bid for survival. So I expect, them to, I expect Mets also to rotate their squad. So again, um, Asian handicap, Dunkirk to win, plus a half at 1.89. You can catch me on Twitter at ProTipsToDan, all one word, or on Facebook, facebook.com slash ProTipsToDan. Talk to us on our Facebook groups, watch our tips of the day live on Facebook Live. Ask us any questions you want, if you want some help to boost your betting, or if you want to look for value, or if you just want to understand what we do when we're looking for tips. We're here to help you. My name's Project Sedan. Thanks for watching. And my Sunday tip, uh, again FA Cup, it's at the City Ground. It's again between Nottingham Forest and Arsenal. Now, Nottingham Forest are obviously just sat their manager, as we pro everyone probably knows already. Uh, Mark Warburton was in a poor run of form um, as manager of Nottingham Forest, and he got let go. Um, no wins in the last five for them. And the fact that they haven't got anyone in yet, um, you know, there's a bit of uncertainty there, um, which Arsenal can play on. And 
I also think that Nottingham Forest need to concentrate on the league. You know, this FA Cup is a bit of a distraction, to be honest. You know, they're in a poor run of form. Yes, they're, I can't remember what they are, 13th or 14th or something like that, uh, in the Championship. They're slowly getting dragged down into that relegation zone, uh, that area um, of danger. And you don't want to drop out of the Championship because it's it's not where Forest want to be. They want to be looking up, not down. Um, so they could do without this distraction. And I think, you know, they'll play, they'll play a bit strong enough side, but they won't. They won't be fussed if they get knocked out of this competition. Whereas Arsenal, they're the holders, aren't they? They love this competition. Um, you know, you can argue, do Premier League teams take it seriously? I think Arsenal do. You know, you can see from the amount of FA Cups they've won in the last few years. And Arsenal Wenger has never actually lost, ever, a third round FA Cup fixture. And I don't see that um, happening this weekend either. Um, the fact Forrest haven't scored in the last three games as well, Makes me think that Arsenal might just go there, do a professional job, win it one or two nil, um, and then progress to the next round. They've got Chelsea in midweek. However, um, it's the League Cup, and we all know that Arsenal have already got there. They sort of have a squad that they seem to play for the for the League Cup games, and it seems to be a mix of youngsters and, and players like that. So, I think Arsenal are going to feel as strong a team as they possibly can. They have a few injuries. But I think they'll have enough uh, against Forest to to get the job done. And my tip for this one is a bit of value here. I think uh, Arsenal are quite short to win it, but both teams to score no, so just one team to score. And odds are two point zero two. I think that's cracking value because, as I say, Forest are in poor form. They haven't scored um, in the last few games recently, and I think yeah, Arsenal will get the job done quite comfortably. I mean, the one thing that could Against Arsenal, the fact that Wenger might be banished to the stands for this one uh, and won't be on the sidelines because of the comments that he made regarding Mike Dean recently. So, see how that pans out before the weekend. Um, but I don't think that will affect Arsenal too much. Um, so yeah, 2.02 for both teams. Not to score. Uh, I think it's great value. And guys, don't be shy. Ask me anything on Twitter or Facebook. On Twitter, you can find me at protips.eng. And Facebook is Pro Tips and Martin, three separate words. We're here to help you with your betting or anything else. Just ask me anything. You know, how your weekend's going or whatever. Uh, I'm happy to help. See you soon, guys. Hello, it's me again. So, uh, my Sunday tip uh, isn't from uh, football or soccer, uh, as the Yanks would call it. It's from the NFL. So, uh, the American football, uh, they're in the playoff, uh, into the into the playoffs now. Well, the wild card. Uh, games anyway so it's kind of like you know the playoffs in English football so it's a playoff to get into the playoffs if you get what I mean so the match I'm looking at is the LA Rams versus the Atlanta Falcons you remember that scene from the Simpsons years ago the Atlanta Falcons anyway <laughs> I'm showing my age and uh, look overall both teams are, are pretty well suited and, and they're even enough on paper now the Rams have plenty of injury worries going into this that they're missing a good few players but uh, home advantage should see them come out on top. Well, indeed, look, the bookies have made them uh, for massive favourites here. Let, let, me, let me have a quick look at, at what the odds were again. Um, uh, yeah, like they're 1.38 to win, so you know, massive favourites. Um, the Rams, then, they've won 11, lost 5 uh, in overall form, while the Fal- Falcons have won 10 and lost six so you know, it's pretty even against the spread though look um rams are they've beaten the spread nine times they've lost against the spread seven times overall and while at home they've only beaten the spread four times and they've lost against the spread four times as well so uh, maybe that's something you want to have a look at just to add to that the falcons uh, against the spread they've beaten it seven times lost against it nine times overall home and away but while playing away they've only beaten it twice and have lost six uh, against the spread. So the line has been set at minus uh, five and a half for the Rams. And with the sides being, you know, so even, it might be worth considering going for. The only thing that will put you off with is that the Falcons away record against the spread. They've only beaten it twice. They've lost six times. Um, home advantage is going to be a big thing here for the Rams. But um, have a look yourself. I actually, I actually haven't gone for this. I'm just... I just want to give you the stats here, uh, but it's something worth looking at because a handicap of minus five and a half, five point five, it's not much, you know. It really isn't, uh, especially at this stage of the season. So, um, and the Falcons have 
beaten um, the Falcons have beaten the LA Rams well they beat them last year by loads by almost 30 points and then in 2010 uh, and 2009 they also won as well look there's a lot of difference in the squads like the seven seven and eight years ago so there's a big difference there but last year I mean they, they hockeyed them uh, off the field last year but it's but so so have a look yourselves maybe there's something there you might like to look up what I've gone for though in the in the Rams Falcons game is the over over under market so the line's been set at uh, plus 48 and a half points so let's have a look at some of the stats here overall the Rams have beaten the over under line in 11 out of 16 games but in only four out of eight games at home the Falcons have only beaten the spread um, sorry, so Falcons have only beaten the, the line over underline in um, five out of sixteen games, and in only two out of eight when playing away from home. And the line here is it's big, forty eight point five. Look, of the last ten um, ten home games, the Rams have only in Rams games it's only gone over this twice. Same stat applies to the Atlanta Falcons. Only in two games of the last ten has there been more than forty eight and a half points so um i'm looking here at uh, backing under that and that's at 1.89 at the moment i suspect though it will raise a bit closer to the game um the, the bookies are, are predicting a very very uh, close game here um even it, it's a funny one because the the, the rams they're like i said a 1.38 to win but uh, they're not giving that much of a handicap. And I think they're expecting it to be closer than what most punters are expecting it to be. So with that in mind, um, yeah, that's why I've gone with under 48.5. Uh, 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 the one thing that does work against me here is that in those previous three head-to-heads that I spoke about played in LA, uh, it has gone over. Uh, that line twice uh, but uh, last year it went over uh, in 2010 went over in 2009 it didn't but I don't know if you really want to count the results from uh, 10 and 09 you know but uh, yeah look I, I think it's a good shout I had a chat uh, with, um, with one of the lads on on our NFL um, discussion board you can find that through the um, uh, Facebook group over on uh, Pro Tips UK have a look on Facebook for Pro Tips UK and you find it there. And I had a chat with him and and, and, and he, he thought my reasoning was sound anyway. So yeah, I, I think I think it's a decent shout. Uh, these are the playoffs. These are these are you know do or die now for teams. It's going to be very tight. I, 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 as much as I'd love to see loads and loads of points uh, being scored in in this game, I don't think there will be. So that's it then for my uh, Sunday tip. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you like the tips. From all the lads, if you'd like to get in touch with us, you can get us on the Facebook group. So have a look for Pro Tips or UK. I'm also on Twitter as well. You can find me Pro Tips or Pod because I look after uh, the podcast stuff and the videos. So if you ever want to get in touch, but any questions about uh, about betting, uh, get in touch with us. And uh, yeah, we 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 we'd, we'd uh, love to help you out because we're here to help you learn more about betting on sports. Make sure and subscribe to us here on youtube and uh, we'll be putting out daily videos podcasts strategy videos uh, these weekend picks as well so uh, yeah and finally don't forget to check out protipster.com sign up for the the free trial where you'll be able to see pro tips uh, so the tips are ranked based on how good they are and uh, yeah you'll see just some absolutely brilliant tipsters giving away their tips for absolutely nothing and uh, yeah they'll help you uh, and you know you'll learn more about betting there and you might even earn a few bob as well and and join as well because if you're good at tipping we'll actually pay you you know so everyone's a winner you know right enjoy all the matches then i'll speak to you soon good luck